The family of the renowned children's author Roald Dahl, who died in 1990, has apologised for anti-Semitic remarks he made during his lifetime. A statement condemning his controversial comments was published on a discreet part of his official website. The statement reads, Those prejudiced remarks are incomprehensible to us and stand in marked contrast to the man we knew and to the values at the heart of Roald Dahl's stories, which have positively impacted young people for generations. Well, joining me now to discuss, this is Danny Stone, head of the Anti-Semitism Policy Trust. Danny, welcome to you. Good to have you on the programme. What's your view on this apology hidden away on the website and not even mentioning anti-Semitism? Yeah, well, uh, thank you, Samantha. Look, there's no denying that Roald Dahl's books are fantastic. You know, we're fans of Snozcumbers and Frob Scottle in this house. But his views were abhorrent. Uh, it's good that there was an apology. But yeah, I like to approach things in good faith, and I hope it was made for the right reasons. But people will rightly think, why now? Why is it taken so long? Why was it hidden? And uh, why wasn't there any engagement with the Jewish community? Um, it, it's disappointing that there wasn't. Has there been, since his death, any engagement with the Jewish community by his family over the issue of anti-Semitism? Sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, has there ever been since his death any engagement with the Jewish community over Roald Dahl's anti-Semitic views? Yeah, not, not that I'm aware of. Um, certainly, you know, the, the stories about anti-Semitism have percolated ac across the online world over a long time. You know, it was well known. Um, but so far as I know, this was the first that we've ever seen the family come together and make anything public. And perhaps now the question is, what, what else could they do? It's good they've apologised. But, you know, they've got a big platform. Could they use it for good? Uh, you said that his views were well known, but he died 30 years ago. Do you feel that actually amongst younger generations, they did know about his anti-Semitic views? And how important do you think it is that, that this is widely known? Well, I think people now, particularly now during the pandemic, are living online. And it's very difficult to look up Roald Dahl and not to find something about his views. So I think that when people go searching, they will easily find the details. And I, I believe that education is critically important. And so, you know, any honest assessment of Roald Dahl's life must include this. And, uh, and I hope that you know, as I say, the family will look to try and provide some more educational resources about anti-Semitism. Would you hope that they would engage with the anti-Semitism uh, trust and other Jewish organisations that deal with anti-Semitism? Yeah, I mean, we, we at the Anti-Semitism Policy Trust, we uh, educate decision makers all the time. We are, our door is open. I'd love to have a conversation with, uh, with the, the family about what they could do.